Hey, it's Al Bergeron, Chief Creative Officer of BergeronCreative.com, and this is the Brand Whisperer Briefing, where I provide practical brand strategies that will grow your corporate or personal brand, giving you greater influence in today's technology-driven society. On this week's episode, I'm going to discuss brand equity. Brand equity is defined as both the positive and negative associations by the consumer to a brand's name, brand mark, tagline, and other attributes. Therefore, a brand's equity describes a brand's value. This value is shaped by consumer experiences and perceptions of a brand. If people think highly of a brand, it has a positive brand equity. When a brand consistently underperforms to the point where consumers won't recommend it, it has negative brand equity. Brand equity is developed as a result of consumer experiences with a brand which shape their perceptions. An example of positive brand equity is Apple, which is one of the world's most popular brands. The company built its positive reputation with Mac computers before extending the brand to iPhones. An example of negative brand equity is Goldman Sachs, who lost brand value when the public perception soured as its role in the 2008 financial crisis was exposed. Just one negative incident can eliminate years of positive brand equity. So your homework for this week is to answer these questions. What are the positive attributes associated with my brand? What, if any, are the negative attributes associated with my brand? That's it for this week. Have a great week. On the next episode of The Brand Whisperer, I will discuss brand identity.